I guess. Um, I thought I would be recording this video like right after Christmas, but you know how the holidays are and you just don't get around to it. So I posted on Twitter, I think, and um, we're gonna have some barking going on. I don't know why. So I posted on Twitter, I think, and um, asked if I should do a video of like what I got for Christmas, my Christmas haul. Uh, I don't know if that's a thing people do, but I figured why not because I actually got some super cool stuff that I would want to do photo shoots in and I figured, you know, if some photographers want to see what I have, here's some options for the new year. And I mean, look how festive. I've got my Christmas Star Wars shirt on because I'm that cool. Yeah. Okay. So first thing I got was a Beetlejuice VHS tape. I'm just kidding. Um, so this Target this year, I guess, was doing a thing where they did like 80s tees and they put them in these little VHS, VHS, VHS tape boxes, which, um, I think is super freaking cool. I still watch VHS because I'm that lame, but check out, they're by Funko and check out, it's a t-shirt. Yeah. Look at how cool this is. I love it. The quality of the shirt is really awesome. It's actually, this was a size medium and it's pretty big. So I might like cut it down and make it fit me a little better, but I love the graphic. Anyways, I love the graphic on it and I freaking love the shirt. It feels so awesome. I'm excited to wear it and just be like super cool in it. <laughs> okay. So the next thing I got was the set of Nightmare Before Christmas figures. Check these out. If you guys have watched any of my other videos, you've heard me say that I don't open up my figure boxes and I'm probably still not gonna open this one. Um, but look at how cute these are. So yeah, they actually have a really, really big set of these boxes that I saw at Target. Um, and I might spoil myself with that one. But this one has um, Pajama Jack, Normal Jack, Sally, the Scary Teddy Bear Toy, and Zero. So this is a super cute set. Um, they're 100% die cast metal, which is pretty legit. So I'm really excited about this. Actually, I can't wait to add it to my Nightmare shelf collection thing where I have all my Nightmare stuff because it's awesome. <clears throat> okay, next I got... I don't know if you guys have seen these because they're freaking awesome. They were all around this Halloween. They're Fugglers! They are mischievous and misunderstood fun, ugly monsters. Or fun uh, ugly monsters? Can I say that on YouTube? I don't know. That's what I thought it stood for at first, which made me love it that much more. Um, the box is really cute. It's like this little monster box. The back says adopt at your own risk. The front says, warning, do not shake contents. This mischievous little creature within may generate excessive excitement with their unpredictable personalities. Sleep with your mouth closed and one eye open. Adopt at your own risk. How cute is that? And they have these like super creepy teeth that I freaking love. But this guy really speaks to me because, you know, he looks like he's judging everyone. And honestly, sometimes I make this face when I get like really dumb emails about bookings. But look at how cute he is. He's super soft plush. He's got a little tail. Isn't he like awesome? I love him. He is another really cool thing about Fuzzlers is kind of like Build-A-Bear. They have like a little adoption slip, which makes it that much more awesome. Um, I love it so, so, so much. This, I, this concept of toy is just freaking amazing. I am actually gonna add some more to my Amazon wish list so I can have a whole collection and put them on shelves together and maybe they'll go on mysterious adventures together. Oh look, there's another monster. Where'd she go? Oh there she is. The most mischievous monster. Okay, so um, I got a lot of clothes, which I'm gonna do in the second half of this haul, but I'm so excited about this. I've been wanting one of these for so, so long. It's a box. I'm just kidding. Um, so, these are probably old. Everyone has one by now, but I don't. We don't. Well, I guess now I do. These are those Brickstone Cat headphones, and they are, the ears are actually speakers to hear out, and they're headphones as well. The colors change, 
Um, and they just, I was using them the other night. They are freaking amazing. But yeah, they have changeable colors. It's just freaking awesome. I did not expect this at all. And I'm so excited to have them. Um, this might have been my favorite Christmas present like I've gotten in a long time. It is amazing. And of course it has a little travel carry case and there's a cord to charge it and everything. Um, but it is so awesome. And it's blue. It works um, via Bluetooth, which is exactly what I wanted. I had a pair on my Amazon wish list, I think, that had the wire. And I was like, ah, oh, that's okay. But now I got the Bluetooth ones and they're so awesome. Okay. So next, I got a lot of stuff from Dolls Kill. Yeah. The one thing I have to say, though, um, Dolls Kill, please get it together with your mailing situation during the holidays. I don't know what happened. The person that got me these items was kind of upset because it arrived to the house in a Dolls Kill box. It literally was like, hey, there are Christmas presents inside. Yo. Like, I get branding and packaging and everything, but it was kind of not ideal. Um, so anyways, but everything inside of it was awesome as always, because Dog's Kill is awesome, despite that situation. So let me show you guys what I got. First, I got these super epic strappy panties. Kind of hold them against the white wall over here. I posted a picture on Instagram the other day, and I was like, I lost my strappy panties, and I'm so sad, but that's okay. Because I got a new pair. Yeah. So they've got these two straps. And I haven't even tried them on yet. So I'll be trying them on right now. Here's me trying it on. Seeing how it fits. Mm -hmm. um, I'm super, super excited to wear these on shoots. I love strappy things like this. Yeah. Then next I got this top. So it is like a mesh top with cutouts in the side here which is super cool so this part goes around the waist um it's sheer it's kind of like one of those raver tops i guess dancey dance wear raver stuff it is stretchy oh here it even says club x um so yeah i got this in an extra small i forgot to say my panties were in a size small of course if you guys order anything make sure to check measurements on their site because like last year I got a Dolls Kill jacket, which I love, 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 but it was, I got two and one fits perfectly and one is like too big, but I can't return it now. And I still wear it, but I don't wear it as much because it's supposed to be a fitted jacket that doesn't fit exactly right, but I still love it. So I still wear it sometimes. Um, and it still looks cool. It's just slightly baggy. Then I got these Dippin' Daisies swimwear bottoms, which are super, super adorable. They kind of like that anime girl panty style. That's what these like light pastel stripes remind me of. But I love it. They've got that swimwear texture. And I almost think, let me see. Yeah, these would technically be reversible because they don't have that weird swimwear lining on the inside. The outside and inside are just like exactly the same. Let me see if I can pull this off. So I can show you guys what I'm talking about. Okay. So yeah, the outside and inside are sewn the same and they don't have like that separate lining. So you could actually wear these and have the white side on the outside. I don't know why you want to though, because the side is so much cuter. Um, and I did get these in a size small. So that's exciting. Okay, so next I got, um, I believe this is also part of like their little raver series. This, this one doesn't have a tag, does it? I don't know. But it's a little dress. It's a mess, mesh halter top dress. Um, obviously, it's stretchy. It's got this little lace down at the bottom. Um, I am going to have to wear a bodysuit to try these on because, uh, yeah... These are not YouTube appropriate, but you know how I like to take everything off at photo shoots and have them be see-through and stuff. So yeah, I'm really excited. Check this out. They stretch. This has to be probably like a size, one size fits all, I'm sure, because it's literally like a body stocking. Okay. Then 
I got, um, I don't know if things are advertised to you guys on Facebook the way they are to me, but I keep getting advertisements for, I think it's called Bad Inca or Badinka or something, and they do these really cool, like, bodysuits, but they're like 200 bucks. They're like way overpriced for what they are. But Dolls Kill had something similar, and I'm really freaking excited to check it out. So this is also from... Well, obviously it's from Dolls Kill. It's size small. I thought it was part of the Raper series or something, but it's not. It's just a straight up skeleton bodysuit. Look at these colors. They are freaking awesome. I cannot wait to wear this. I recently got like a suit with organs on it, which I talked about in one of my other hauls. I'll link it at the end. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, check this out. I love it. I'm excited to see how it actually fits because the thing with these sometimes is my body shape makes it kind of like baggy in the middle. But the seams tighten up. Hopefully it fits good. I'm really excited. Perfect for Halloween. So this coming year, Halloween photo shoot, you guys, get ready. Okay, last but not least, this is also from Dolls Kill. Um, let's check it out. So this is the last piece I got from Dolls Kill. This is one of those um, bodysuits that has the kind of, I guess, pasties already on it. Look at how awesome that is. They're little bats. So the whole thing is sheer. And then the bottom part also has like a covered bottom as well. Um, it is like a halter top on the top part. So this must have been kind of from one of their Halloween sec selections as well. Look at these bats. They're kind of like a pleathery material, which is super cool. Um, so this is a size small as well. They're pretty much all size small. But you can tell it's got a little stretch to it. These are all such awesome pieces for photo shoots. Like, I love them. Everything I got for Christmas this year was so awesome. Um, we did have, I have to say, we did have a Christmas present budget, which someone didn't follow. So I felt like I didn't buy nearly enough for the other person, but that's fine. Um, I was spoiled this Christmas. It was awesome. So guys, tell me below. Which item was your favorite and um, which Dolls Kill piece do you guys want to see me do a photo shoot in first? I'm really excited to shoot in all of them, but if you had to pick one, let me know down in the comments below. And I hope you all are having an awesome start to your new year and your Christmas was amazing. I will see you guys later. Bye guys!